Oh, hi. You snuck up on me. My name's Adam, and I'd like to talk to you about your vehicle's extended warranty. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, actually, we're going to talk about the uh, laser I just got. So it's a OM Tech 80 watt um, with a 24 by 35 inch bed. It's really cool. Um, this is going to go through unboxing. Uh, the initial setup, you'll see. Uh, the big things, I ordered it. Uh, it shipped in about a week. Well, it arrived in about a week, I should say. It shipped pretty fast. Um, it's funny, uh, UPS called me when they received it from the uh, freight center. And they said, hey, we got a laser, or we have, they actually didn't know it was a laser. They said, hey, we got some electronics for you. Um, do you want to pick it up or you want us to deliver it? And I was like, I oh, will pick it up. So I called my dad and was like, hey, you want to go get the laser? And he was like, sure. It'll fit in the back of the truck, right? Well. As you can see in the picture, it, uh, it was a very tight fit. So uh, once we got it home, we unloaded it and uh, the video should pick up from there. Check it out. And in this box is our new laser. It is a 80 watt laser from OM Tech Lasers. And as you can see, it is uh, quite large. So we're gonna try to get this thing unboxed and set up and see what it can do. All right, so as you can see, this is the box this thing comes in. And it is, it's probably what? Four foot high, probably almost four foot across, and uh, five foot long, something like that. So uh, let's get into this thing and see what we can find. This thing is huge. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. I'm talking about the laser. Holy cow. This thing's just massive. Look how big this laser is. This is bigger than a tiny one. I know. Oh, it does have wheels on it. Wait, what? Yeah, so we can move it. Alright, right. let me slow down. Alright, let's see. This is the testing paperwork, so everything's tested and checked out, okay? I did not know it was going to be fully assembled. This thing is a class 4 laser. Um, which means you gotta be careful. Oh, like, yeah, that's like there's some sticky residue and some oh, scratches. That that's where you need to get sticky out. Yep. That's what Charles says. Look at that, bro. Yeah. This is the uh, laser safety shield. Safety? Oh, that's safety. Let's look at the camera. Okay, so, it can, so they can see. Alright. So, just to see inside this thing. So, this is the first look inside which was a lot of paper and a lot of stuff to get off, but there's the bucket full of accessories. We'll uh, look through that in a second. But this is your working space, so, so yeah, you can see you, my you hand versus all of this space to cut, engrave, whatever. Of course, this is the shield. It's still got the paper on it. Move back, step back, Char. This is what I was talking about here. A little bit of sticky stuff where the papers come off. A few little scratches, no big deal though. Um, no biggie. But you can see next to Charlotte, see how massive this thing is, which is cool. Uh, we got some access panels here. Uh, you can that's see the just inside. a little bag covering the mirror for the lasers. Yeah. Uh, down here, we've got your control board. Got our hoses over there for our coolant to go in and out to the laser. Shouldn't have to do anything with any of this. Uh, 
close those. Seems very, very nice so far. In the back, back here, we've got our inlet and outlet for our water, our cooling water, and that goes to the laser tube, which should be here. There it is. So, just in that trash pile over there. So here's our laser tube, peak power. Let me turn it around. Peak power is 95 watts. Rated power is 80 watts. Uh, January 23rd, 2021. So this is our laser. Of course, we'll have to get all the plastic off of it. Hook everything up. Um, below that's our exhaust. We've got an exhaust duck on the side of the shop that's our air assist pump there uh, that is the Z motor uh, Z axis what am I thinking what am I trying to say yeah the Z axis motor raises the table up and down you see it's got four four looks like kind of like acme threads uh, and a chain that goes around all of it so it should raise it very uh, evenly in here we got a little blower right here a little 12 volt blower well i say 12 volt it's a 110 volt blower but it looks similar to one that would be in like a computer or something just hopefully it moves a little more air. but if not we've got a uh, big ventilation fan on the side of the shop i'm gonna be plumbing this into so uh, close this back up Keep going around. Down here we've got our power, 110 volt input, water pump, power, and ground, 110 ground here, 110 volt. I don't know why it's got all these different powers. Uh, but here's the, uh, the plate, 80 watt, 110 volt, CO2 laser. It's built January 31st, 2021, this year. Um, <clears throat> me yep it sure is back up some let's open this panel more access to electronics uh, the electronics boards under there and you can see the they've already got the rails greased everything so this is this this bad boy is pretty much fully assembled which is great that means Dad, can I show them the buttons yeah that means we'll be uh, up and running later today. Let's see. Some kind of a... Oh, there we go. So this is just... We got two fuses here. Electronics boards. Uh, your power coming in. Okay. Nothing we need to do in there. looking right here you've got your flash drive uh, if you want to plug a flash drive in and burn your file straight off of there where you obviously hook the um, USB port and then if you want to Ethernet uh, connect straight to the PC here is a uh, pass-through slot so if you have a material that's wider than I think this cuts 35 inches wide if you have one wider you just use this pass-through slot and uh, you can cut it. Obviously, there's no door, so the danger would be if you are cutting and looking through here, your eyes are exposed to a class four laser. So you have to be careful of that. Uh, up front, excuse me, Char, let me see right here. I'm gonna open this last panel. That's just access to the- To the wires and all that. The little crumb tray down here. Yeah. I think this is uh, you basically after you cut a whole bunch you'll get little particles and stuff in there you clean it out we'll get all that tape and stuff cleaned up but it you can see the acme threads are uh, greased up really well which is good this I, don't, I guess this is another pass through push that towards me and pull it wait let's let this up hold on 
Hold on. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, so there's another pass-through slot there. So it's actually... Okay. Huh. Well, I guess... That's interesting. Can I sew down the buttons? Hold on, Char. So this is a pass-through slot as well. There's one of these on the front and one on the back. So you can pass through this way. Or I guess you could pass through that side over there. Uh, but they're different heights. I don't even know if I don't even know if the gantry would go up that high for that side pass through. Now that I look at it, I don't know. We'll find all this out soon. But we're gonna uh, disassemble everything, all this plastic and all these bags, and then we'll be back. That's a lot of plastic. It is a lot of plastic. Oh man, you can see a lot of the dust in this uh, camera. Anyways, on the inside of here, there's a hole going through the bottom. And I didn't exactly know what it's for. I didn't want to cover it up, but I did put some screen down so spiders and stuff can't come up through there and uh, get it all inside the machine because it is out of my workshop. Okay, so don't be like me and just try to lift on it because it's screwed down to the pallet right there on the feet. So be sure to get that. I think I broke that one. But uh, be sure to loosen all those before you try to take it off the pallet. All right, guys, so here is the laser. You can see that it is dusty, first off. But it is huge. It takes up a lot of room. So you're gonna, if you get one of these, you're going to need a lot of space. Also, I've got the chiller unit over here that cools the laser. Got everything plugged in. I've got a little table over here. We'll put the laptop when we're using it. I got a kind of a... It's got an inline fan and then I got dust uh, exhaust run to that fan. I was scared about covering the whole fan up. So I just left it like halfway. It's kind of it's kind of janky right now. So uh, I might go revisit that later. But uh, basically, this is it. And uh, turn it on. Hold on, let me get the camera and move it up a little closer. But you can see, you turn it on. You've got this whole area to work. Um, this one has the uh, autofocus. So this little thing right here, when you tell it to autofocus, it'll bring the bed up to the workpiece, touches it, and. Uh, back off a little bit so that the focal length will be exactly right for whatever size thickness piece you need. This red light is just an indicator laser. It's not the actual burning laser. So it just shows you that's where your other laser is going to hit. Don't worry, with the door open, the laser can't fire. Also, the chill water is not running. It doesn't see water flow. The laser can't fire. So it's safe. The noise you hear is an air assist. You hear that? So it it blows air out the nozzle and that's built into the laser and what that does is keeps flames flare up smoke all that stuff out of the cutting uh, area there's not a whole lot else to say about it um this is it so so that's basically it um we're gonna have a lot of laser videos uh coming out soon um i'm gonna be making some sheaths some ninth sheaths using the laser to help. Uh, we're going to make a birdhouse uh, out of clear acrylic as an experiment to see if birds will stay in it. Um, what else? All kinds of things we're going to be making. So you're going to see this in a lot of videos. Also my X carve over here. See that a lot more coming up. Um, if you stuck around, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please uh, consider subscribing. Uh, and then if you feel like hitting the like button, it's absolutely free. You can turn the light button into a nice cool shade of blue. Make everyone's day, and that really helps out. Um, other than that, have a great one. We'll see you next time.